is Kelly Hobart from Alpaca Direct, and I'm here to talk about our Knit Club project, and it's called the Pixie Dust Cowl. And this is a fantastic little cowl that is a nice chevron pattern. And if we look at it here, we are using this wonderful yarn. It's called Millie Calori Baby and Millie Calori Baby Luxe. And I see here, when I was looking at the yarn, the color number 50 and the 53 were switched. But it doesn't really matter which yarn you cast on with. On mine, I cast on with a solid color, but it doesn't matter which one that you use. You'll just be alternating back and forth. Um, and knitting with two rows with one color and then two rows with the other color. So before we get started, let's take a look at our needle sizes. It tells us to use a US number seven. And we've had some of our knitters ask, how do we know what length of cord we should use? So I have the cowl sitting out flat and this is where we start at the, um, with the smaller needles. And I can take my tape measure and measure it from side to side. And it is uh, just a little over 20 inches. So using a 24 inch circular needle, number seven, will stretch the stitches a little bit. So in the beginning, I think using either a 16 or a 22 inch needle would be fine, um, but not much bigger than that. When I knit mine, I used a number 16 inch needle, something like this. Remember when you're measuring your cords, it's from needle tip to needle tip. So when you're measuring a circular needle, and you're looking for the cord, the overall length, this is about 19 inches on here with the Addy Turbos. And so that is perfect for this actual, starting this actual project. So if you're wondering what cord length to use, don't use anything much over uh, 20 inches because the this is just a little over 20 inches and you don't want it to be stretched too much. And then of course, as it gets bigger, you can increase your cord length. And so here it's about 26 inches overall. So that 24 inch cord now becomes feasible as you're going along. So you can increase the cord length as you're knitting your project. If you choose to um, pick up different sizes of needles and make your project longer and wider, more bell-shaped like mine is, um, you can do it that way. And I, with the two skeins of yarn, you'll have plenty enough yarn to be able to actually change needle sizes and have no problem, because that's how I did this. And then my overall length is right a little over 19 inches so that is plenty length for your project and um, so I hope that clears up those questions for you also we have included some beautiful stitch markers and this is from compass moon creations it's um, a working mom that works in Coeur d'Alene here and we love supporting her she has these beautiful five little stitch markers that are flags and I thought that was wonderful because of the 4th of July and just to show, I don't know, I like the flag. So that was um, a nice little addition to our kit. Alrighty, uh, the, this is actually a picture of me wearing the cowl and it's very nice and easy to wear. And like I said, when you go to cast on your stitches, don't worry whether you do the solid or the one with the Stellina. Um, either one you can cast on with, no problem. Just knowing that you're knitting two rounds with one and then two rounds with the other. Maybe if you wanted to even it out and use all of your yarn, you could cast on with the solid color Millie Clory Baby and bind off with the uh, Millie Clory Baby Lux. That would work too. So on the next video, I'm gonna show you how to cast on.